The pace is very high right from the start, almost as fast as an F-16 fighter, and with tailwind, almost 40 kilometers are traveled within the first hour. Then the first riders try their luck in an escape group, amongst them two Norwegians, the Argentinian Daniel Diaz from Delco Marseille, and the sprinter Bernard Eisel from Dimension Data. After several attempts to counter the escapees, they are finally taken in the outskirts of Narvik, before the ascent of Skistua, a two-kilometer climb with a slope of 7%. Fabien Grelier attacks, but the Frenchman from Direct Energy is reeled in shortly after on the descent. Yet the expected sprint final does not take place. Bereft of teammates, Alexander Christoph cannot counter a depleted peloton, and it's the man in shape, Dylan Toons, who passes the finish line first. The Belgian can already be considered a great favorite for the final victory of the Arctic race. Dylan Toons takes the first stage of the Arctic race two seconds ahead of the pack led by the Norwegian August Jensen. Four Norwegians are amongst the top ten today. In the overall ranking, the bonus points give Tunes a six-second lead to Jensen and an eight-second lead to the Italian Andrea Pasqualon. The other riders present in the pack lie 12 seconds behind the leader of the Arctic race. But some of his rivals try to prevent this and form an early escape group. Amongst them the Frenchman Corbel from Team Fortuneo, the Belgian Kleis, 39th yesterday, and Pizigitov from Astana. The six escapees give it all, but the pack plays with them like a cat would play with a mouse. BMC sets the pace of the peloton, and 50 kilometers before arrival, the escape group has a lead of only two and a half minutes. And when it comes to the final loops at Bardufus Airport, the sprinters' team start the hunt, and two loops before the finish line, the lead of the escapees has fallen below two minutes. The escapees are reeled in shortly after, but then the Norwegian Truls Korthes tries his luck with a solo run 13 kilometers from arrival. However, the man from Astana seems to have misjudged the distance left and raises his arms believing in victory too soon when one loop is still ahead of him. The unlucky local will be taken six kilometers from the finish line. It comes to a sprint final. Astana and Kofidis get in position and in spite of a great resistance by Ofsteter, it's the European champion Alexander Kristoff who passes the line for a first stage win on this year's Arctic race. After winning stage one at the last edition, Alexander Christoph takes stage two this year, ahead of the Frenchman Hugo of Stetter. Just like yesterday, the Italian Pasqualon finishes third. No changes in the overall ranking. Dylan Toynes stays in the lead, followed by Andrea Pasqualon, who wins a rank due to bonus points. The stage win today allows Alexander Christoph to take rank three. The finish should be spectacular, but before, several riders try their luck in the rain and form an escape group. Eight men leave the pack behind, amongst them Adrien Petit, Bernhard Eisen, Hugo of Stetter and Truls Korsev, the Norwegian who mistakenly believed in the stage win yesterday when there was still one lap to go. At the first intermediary sprint, the escapees had a lead of three minutes. When it gets to the second descent, the sun comes out and Daniel Diaz and Bernhard Eisel begin their duel for the jersey of the best climber. But the Austrian stays alert and won't let go of the sermon shirt. In the pack, Dylan Tain's teammates from BMC start quickening the pace 60 kilometers before the finish line, and the lead of the escapee starts to dwindle. 20 kilometers further, it has passed below two minutes. Fighting headwind, Diaz and Bernhard are the first to be reeled in. And when it comes to the final ascent, the remaining escapees are taken also. The Ukrainian Andrei Grifko is the first to attack. Then Rein Taramai tries to surprise Dylan Toynes, but the leader of the overall ranking doesn't let them pull off and counters both attackers. The Belgian once again proves his great shape and seems to ride to a second stage win. But at the very last moment, August Jensen shoots past him and the Norwegian from Team Co-op takes the stage by a whisker ahead of all the favorites. August Jensen confirms that this is a great season for him. It's the fourth stage win in 2017 for the man from Team Co-op. The former Norwegian U23 road race champion takes rank two in the overall ranking, a mere three seconds behind the leader Dylan Tönes. Seven men leave the peloton behind right from the start. Amongst them the Belgian Dimitri Klaas, the Frenchman Tony Urel and the leader of the mountain ranking Bernhard Eisel, already present in the escape group yesterday. 
The pack doesn't let them pull off too far and their lead doesn't grow above 5 minutes and 40 seconds. This motivates Bernhard Eisel and Dimitri Klaas to leave their fellow escapees behind and they get into Tromso with a 2 minute lead to the pack. The Belgian from Team Cofidis resists well but he is still reeled in 20 kilometers before arrival. Dylan Tains wants to avoid a massive arrival because the bonifications could very well deprive him of the final victory. He therefore takes off on the final ascent of the Arctic race, three kilometers before the finish line and none of his rivals manages to follow. The man from BMC proves that he is the man in shape on this event and leaves everyone behind. Beaten by a whisker on Saturday, he finishes solo and can even take his time to greet the Norwegian crowd as he passes the finish line. Norwegians win by Strom. Dylan Tains was once again impressive. Never was a winner of the Arctic race so far ahead of his rivals. Second placed August Jensen follows 29 seconds behind the Belgian. It was the fifth edition of the Arctic race of Norway and five different men have succeeded here. Dylan Tains has immediately taken the lead after taking the stage at Narvik and never let go of the leader's jersey. The man from BMC is the successor of Gianni Moscon, winner in 2016. Danes not only wins the race, but he also takes the green jersey of the best sprinter and the white jersey of the best youngster. Bernhard Eisel, present in every escape group, takes the salmon jersey of the best climber. 